been a super long day. Uh, we have been in Steenlursen and Helena has been body painting me. She did an amazing job. Of course, it's a little messed up now because we had a, a bit of a rough trip home, which actually we are vlogging about in another video. But uh, anyway, today, Helena body painted me for about seven hours. Uh, it was quite a long haul. Difficult to stand still for so long for somebody like me. Uh, but here's a little video behind the scenes of her painting me and, and how it went. And I hope you enjoy it. So how does it work with the competition? Do you have to like apply for it? Yeah, you have to send in some photos and uh, then a jury will choose choose from there who goes to the competition. And it's a tough selection. I didn't uh, get through the first time that I applied, but then I just stacked them with some <laughs> more photos and then they were like, oh, okay, you know your stuff. Like the same time around or was it a different year? No, it was for, uh, for this, this competition this ah, year. Okay. It's my first time competing in the body paint category. But you've done face paint a couple times? Or? Yeah, it's my third year now competing in the face paint category as well. Awesome. So I've been in the top 10 the cool. last two years. So for the face painting this time, I hope for, yeah, well, I'm going for the win, but yeah, of if, course. I, if I don't, I'll, I'll be happy with, you know, top three. What do you get if you win? Well, there's a cash prize uh, and then you win some products, but you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I just want to, you know, be able to call myself world champion. That would be so cool. <laughs> do they have anything like that just locally here in Denmark? No, the makeup school uh, in uh, in Odense, they had it in 2008, I think, and that was the first, uh, only and last time <laughs> they ever held uh, okay. A local champions championship. Shame. Yeah, it is. But there's, you know, the World Body Painting Festival. And they have the World Championships, and then uh, they also have a European Championship. I think it's in Holland. And there's 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 this uh, World Body Painting Association. I think it's called. They have uh, they host it different places in the world, but. I think the most important competition is the world. Of course. World Championships. How many days is that? Three days. It's a festival. And, uh, it's in the city of Klagenfurt. It's like the southern, southern part of Austria. Right at the border of uh, Slovenia. So it gets really hot because it's in the middle of July. Oh. So I have to uh, look out for my models. Model. Yeah, sweaty models. Thank you. <laughs> Fainting models. <laughs> so will you paint more than one day? I will paint for all three days because uh, the body painting category is over two days. You have to uh, get through the first round in order to go to the finals. Okay. So the design I'm doing now is for the semifinals and then I hope that's that will be enough to get me through to the final round. Oh, okay. So how many people get to go through? I don't think it's over 25. Okay. So they cut it in half. Oh, all right. You told me about this concept, but I really want to have it on. Mm. So the theme was galactic. Galactic soup. soup. Yeah, so I think there's going to be a lot of Blue alien <laughs> yeah. galaxy stuff. Lots of planets. Yeah. People tend to take the themes a little bit too literal. I've yeah. done the same for the last two years and I've learned from from that. That's not what the jury is looking for. They want you to be creative. They want us to be very creative and think way out of the box. So you're going for like a family universe kind of thing? Yeah. You know, the, we don't we don't see what what people are hiding behind closed doors. We don't know what's happening there, and it's also based on a really sad story. Because here in December, uh, a very uh, a very beloved face painter, body painter called Jocelyn Castoff, passed away uh, because of domestic abuse. Uh, 
her husband uh, killed her with a gun and then he committed suicide right after. And nobody saw it coming. So on the outside she was this smiling, happy person. Yeah. Uh, but nobody knew what was going on behind closed doors. Nobody knew that she was sucked into this toxic relationship with her mentally ill husband. It must have been pretty crazy if he could come up with killing her one day. Yeah. Apparently he was hearing voices or something. I don't know. Uh, but he also had a, a history of domestic abuse in his family. Okay. Um, but that's just to illustrate, we never know what's going on in people, people's lives. Yeah. Uh, and that's very relevant for the, the whole event then, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, uh, and, and, and since December, uh, there's been a multiple times of, you know, different body painting events, uh, face painting events, and there's always been somebody there who done tribute to, to Jocelyn okay. and, and her life. Okay. So I wanted to incorporate that as well. Yeah. And raise some awareness. But she's not the only one. There's a lot of people living in in, in toxic relationships, and uh, and some people never get out of them. And some people do, but not in the best ways. <laughs> no. Did they have kids? They did. So now they're being raised by their grandparents. Okay. So it's really really sad. Yeah, that's rough. The age difference is going to be quite yeah. crazy. That's why uh, the woman on the front here, she's a redhead, because Jocelyn was a redhead. Okay. But we definitely have a galaxy thing going on on the Yeah, on the arms. Yeah. yeah, I need to follow a little bit of the theme. Yeah. yeah. Just, just doing the, the literal translation, but only as like an underlying, underlying thing for, for this. I bet some people are going to do like Avatar and stuff like that. Yeah, probably. Is there anywhere you can see the whole competition? Like, do they, do they video it? Do yeah, they they, it live? yeah, they will do some, uh, some live. Uh, I, I, I know I've seen it the last couple of years that people are going around the Brisbane grounds so filming uh, also when the competition is is happening They're going into the, the tents and uh, interviewing the painters and just to, to showcase how many uh, countries are participating because of people from all over the world.